Over the past four to five seasons, we've seen an increase in the prevalence of verticillium wilt. Verticillium wilt is caused by the pathogen Verticillium dahlia. It's a soil-borne pathogen, and the symptoms include wilting, vascular discoloration in the stem, yellowing of the leaves, necrosis of the leaves, defoliation, and even plant death. The impacts that we're currently seeing due to verticillium wilt are not that dissimilar to what was observed 10 to 20 years ago with fusarium wilt. Unlike fusarium, where we've got good host resistance, we don't currently have that high level of resistance for verticillium wilt, so managing this disease is a lot more problematic. We receive many samples, we collect many samples, we need to plate those out onto selective media, isolate the pathogen, identify it, it's important to understand the strain and distribution of this pathogen in the fields to better manage it. As well as lab diagnostics, we're also conducting research to understand management strategies. The aim of soil solarisation is to heat the soil to temperatures that are lethal for the pathogen. This technique is broadly used in horticulture and not so commonly used in field crops. But with the improvement in the technology of the plastics used, this may be a management strategy for the future. A common strategy used around the world to manage verticillium wilt is crop rotation. And we're looking at how many years a field needs to be out of cotton to reduce the spore load to a point where you can grow cotton economically. So far our research is showing that if you go out of cotton for two years and grow a non-host such as sorghum or corn, there is a great benefit when you go back into cotton. The breeding program by CSIRO based at ACRI are actively screening varieties for better host resistance against verticillium wilt. The research that pathologists and breeders are conducting now will be part of an integrated disease management package for verticillium wilt. In the meantime, the things that you can do on farm to manage this disease, firstly, is good farm hygiene, prevent the spread of the pathogen in the first place. And any suspect plants showing wilting, vascular discoloration, please send to your pathologist for confirmation of pathogen.